And how he too. Hey, I'm Tom the Beer Whisperer, and I'm finishing off this uh, Powers John Lane edition, uh, 12 year old single pot still Irish whiskey. The unique taste of single pot still whiskey only from Middleton Distillery. So there you go. Uh, it is 46% 92 proof. Um, it has a very distinct aromas, um, very distinct flavors as well, but aromas, uh, there's definitely some sweet honey in the aroma, along with some spice, as, as the description says. Uh, on the palate, Again, uh, you get honey up front, uh, and then on the back end, uh, some very peppery, spicy notes, uh, along with uh, kind of an oaky, woody finish. It's very nice. It's a very nice whiskey. Oh, wow. It is certainly one that you want to drink neat. I wouldn't drink it. Uh, I wouldn't shoot it. Uh, that's a waste of good whiskey. Nor would I uh, mix it with anything. Um at all some things are perfect just the way they are <laughs> uh and so anyway i'm kind of doing a part two finishing up i'm kind of reminiscing about seamus a little bit this is my uh first birthday without him and it's been a very brutal week for both the wife and i uh, because of so many milestones as i mentioned in the other video you know uh, her birthday was tuesday um it was also you know four weeks since we lost him and then yesterday, you know, marked a month, and then uh, today is my birthday, so it has been a very, uh, very emotional week. And, uh, you know, some days are better than others. Um, some days we can function, some days not so much. It's just kind of, it's not even day by day, it's just, it's, it's just moment by moment. Um, those of you that have watched my videos, uh, probably tell I've noticed as I've tried to watch some of my more recent videos uh, they're not as natural as my early stuff uh, and I didn't realize that till I started watching them that, uh, that they they seem very forced and uh, I'm not trying to force them uh, but uh, obviously the the humor and and everything else um, nothing is quite as natural as it once was so I'm gonna try to continue to do the videos but uh, I don't know. It's just going to depend. If if I can find a way to make them fun again, I'll keep going. But if, if, if I can't, then I'm, I'm, I might have to stop at some point. Because I've always done these videos for, for relaxation because they were fun, you know. Seamus always made fun of me when I did them. So that was kind of fun. I kind of miss him poking fun at me when I'm doing them. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't I don't drink to, to just to get drunk or, or to, uh, to hide or, or, you know, to, to medicate. Uh, I've always drank for enjoyment, and um, I'm not getting as much enjoyment out of it as I once did. So, so if I can't find the, if I can't find it at some point, I'm going to have to just give it up. But I'm, I'm hoping I can start finding more enjoyment than I've, I've been able to. Uh, I could tell by watching my videos that they are very forced. I'm having a hard time. Just uh, you know, when I when I'm doing the regular videos, and I'm not talking about Seamus, um, to try to do videos like I used to, I'm, I'm, everything is forced. It's a very good whiskey, by the way. Oh, wow! I've been trying to kind of immerse myself into pedal the cause. Uh, Seamus was so dedicated, uh, and, and uh, so I'm trying to do that. That does help some because I feel like I'm contributing. Um, you know, we asked people instead of sending flowers to donate to Pedal the Cause, and many people did that uh, because all of uh, you know all of your donations go to research. So we're hoping that you know the money that that I that we're able to raise for in order Seamus's name for Pedal the Cause, maybe that's the you know, maybe that's the money that'll make the difference. Um, I'm not being unrealistic. I know a cure isn't going to be found right away. But maybe it'll be this research that kind of leads to a cure somewhere down the road. Because they're, they're, I hope, 
I hope they can find a cure. It was very important to Seamus. Um, he never complained about having cancer. He just, uh, he always worried about somebody else getting it. Whew. He never once complained about, about having cancer. In fact, uh, he's the only person that I have ever known that never once asked, why me? He never, never complained. He never said, why is this happening to me? Of course, we as his parents asked, but he never did. It's, it's almost like he knew. He knew what his destiny was from the beginning. Oh, well, I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so... Since my birthday, I'm 48 today. I've never been one of these folks that have hid my age. I don't, you know, I don't just, I never got a real lot people, well, I'm 29. Well, of course you're not 29. I, I enjoy getting older. Uh, well, I did up until this year. Because <laughs> uh, it was always a joy to keep getting older and to keep watching our kids grow. And, and, and right now it's tough. But uh, So anyway, I'm 48 today. And I'm going to try to do happier videos as the day goes on. I've got some work I'm going to do today. Um, we're hoping to, to go for a little drive, a little day trip tomorrow. So I'm, I smoked a ham yesterday. I want to make some ham salad and I, I steamed some eggs up so I'll make some egg salad as well. So hopefully things will start getting better. But anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna get out of here since I've already talked for a while anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do happier, just beer videos. Um, I may bring Seamus up upon occasion, but I don't want to get completely melancholy. I'm going to try to finish this uh, shot of whiskey here and, and try to cheer up just a tad. <laughs> Holy Moses, Tom, you're depressing in some. Anyway, so I digress. It's a very interesting whiskey. I've never had it before. Uh, I'm just having one shot today. So, oh, that was interesting. Uh, okay, on that sip, I told you earlier I had I got you had some honey, um, spicy notes. I mentioned some some oakiness, some woody finish. Uh, but right in that sip, um, I got some distinctive fruit flavors. Uh, peach, to be specific. Some soft peach along with uh, some honey. It's a very nice whiskey. It's mellow. You know, if you wanted to, to, you know, I've been to whiskey tastings. I usually like to put a splash of whiskey. Helps. It, something like that would be okay for a whiskey like this. But I wouldn't even recommend putting an ice cube in it. Uh, it's so perfect just the way it is that it's, it's certainly one you're going to want to just drink straight. Oh, it's beautiful. So, anyways, I'm running along. So, hey, this is Tommy Beer Whisper. I'm going to try to pop a beer here in a... Oh, in a little bit. I'm going to go in and grind my ham up, and then I'll come back out and have a beer with you. And and I hope to be less melancholy then. <laughs> so anyway, hey, um, finishing off the Powers, John Lang. Very fine whiskey. Uh, got a little bit left still. You know, I mean, I don't drink this stuff fast. I kind of have to sip it over a period of time. So anyway, I'm going to go inside and finish it, though. Uh, but, uh, you know, thanks for putting up with me.